Unconscious in their frigid room, they seem ghastly, but I beg to differ. During the slicing and trimming of my perishing intestines, I found peace. All thought and emotion had walked away from my decaying body. The void, this void of senses is what I would begin to miss. When faced with death, I didn't succumb. Mere months after, I wish I had. I yearned so bad for the absence of my miserable life. Each breath I took came with a blistering, sorrowful regret. Come on, rid yourself of him. No, you mustn't let these horrid thoughts take rank. I could not stop the fantasy of weakness. I mean, why cry when I can just... Word indeed, yet the evidence was not helpful. That day, I didn't qualify for aid as I lacked the blueprint of my dismantle. Yet, those in ailment had overwhelming attention despite lacking print. In short, denial by a place of revival. Yes, it's time to plan. In the third building of agony that day, I decayed. I was constantly under the shadow of scrubs. One shadow softly spoke and guaranteed help. However, the care proposed seemed worse than my already living hell. I refused these open arms. I sought help in, oh, my ambiguous desire. Lacking rationale, I insisted upon my release. They must have thought I was alive. I was let back into the comfort of my own home, this time not alone. Accompanied every time, every morning, by the sour taste of pills, was I. I had little hope in this medical remedy, nevertheless hope. Days, weeks, yet all the same feelings of that familiar belief. That transparent orange bottle contained my help, barely. Change seemed so foreign at this point, I was convinced I was immune. Wondering what caused this abyss, I too wished to know and constantly asked. The only thing I knew was that each day I lived in a false perception. The world warped and seemingly fell. I was disassociated from reality as I endured imminent panic. Each day, I would grab my pain ridden chest tightly if I was that old man in distress. I couldn't stop the worry and was unable to be authentic. No one knew me, barely knew me. I spent eternity with a lack of control, and so I asked what's wrong, I stared blankly. I described to the wise man in the chair that my pillow seemed heavier at day's end. Strategy was given, but I'm not going to put it in place. Ability I lacked, I couldn't seem to proceed. I frustratingly expressed I couldn't focus enough to even understand these imbecilic strategies. The counseling figure was now curious and led me down the road. I was habituated to the repulse at the mention of inattention. Without fail, I was automatically shut down to good grades. So I suppose focus that never ceases to exist is widespread. I suppose these streaks of inability to simply live isn't exclusive? Proper testing given surpassed this pseudo-logic of is your grades good or bad? Conclusive it was, shocked many were. I bathed in this joy of validation. They were certain, I was certain. This was a cause of all my cloudy days. The fog which blurred reality started to clear as if the morning was on the way out. Gone was the pointless poison, and in came the aid to a calmer mind. Within days, I was finally on the right path. No more dead ends. I walked through halls, sands the panic I became accustomed to. I felt as if I was real. I could think without the blackouts of the moment I had spoken for once. Not every voice was a judgment of me. Not every moment led me to flee. Not every little sound irked me. Not every heartbeat lay flatly. Yet, to be who I am, I know there is still a struggle, this time with purpose. I now know that an absence of emotion and thought isn't what I want. What I truly seek is this very emotion and thought that constitutes life. I don't want to be numb to life, as every day I explore a new world of sensations that was withheld from. When you live in a perpetual hell every day for years, you think happiness is something that won't even be there tomorrow. So any day in which there's no wish of the ability becomes the best. These days of frustration, I'm oh so grateful for, as I recall the pure sorrow. No one will know how I felt, but these words are my best attempt at this infinite jest. I won't end this as I wish to abjure from my existence, 
I simply will leave off with the message. The worst times are riddle of the best. Uh, I'm Nicholas Ross, and I'm a senior. Um, it was uh, nerve-wracking, but overall it was a great experience, I think, to like share a poem with a bunch of people. Uh, yeah, I would. Um, like, even if you're nervous, I think it's great to express um, your words.